Hey guys, there you go. Some new kid you. This is yet another Vista tip, Vista tip trick, whatever you want to call it. Vista tutorial in general. And it's a qu it's a pretty quick one, but it's a common question that's been asked around lately, messages and stuff like that, and all around the boards. But anyway, uh, first off, you know, Vista may not be the best OS compared to XP. A lot of people have switched back. A lot of people have Mac OS 10. You know, I can't wait to get Leopard when I if I get my, when I get my Mac. So you know, but in the meanwhile, I always love to do uh tips and tricks for the people who use Vista, who use XP, and when I get my Mac, whoever uses OS 10, so, or, yeah, OS 10. So anyway, guys, here's just another Vista quick tip. Basically, in Start Menu, I have Run located right there. Now, you may ask, you know, if you're used to XP, you're used to the Run being in the Start Menu. By default, on Vista, it's not there. For some reason, they just didn't want to put it there. And you can e easily search Run and just drag the shortcut out here to your desktop, is what a lot of people do. And you can even what I do sometimes is I on some programs I hit properties, you go to shortcut. Where it says shortcut key right there, you can set a shortcut key like Control Alt X. And when you hit, basically what that means is it's like a when you when I hit Control Alt X, it opens up the run command right there. Now that's a pretty productive way to do it. Or you can manually find run and then hit properties. You don't even have to put the icon on your desktop, I believe. But if you want to get in your start menu, make things a little bit easier. I'll teach you how I did it, and you know, these, there's a whole bunch of other ways you can do it. I'm pretty, well, not a whole bunch of other ways, but there's varieties of ways you can get to the menus and stuff. But this is the easiest way, in my opinion. Anyway, just right click your taskbar or the orb, hit properties, go to start menu. And if you're using the classic start menu, you can do this as well. Just You just have to go to customize when it's active. But I'm using the regular start menu, so just hit customize and scroll down just a, maybe around, not really the middle. Oh wait, whoops, it is right there. Well, I have to hit cancel because I accidentally hit something. Cause if you ever accidentally click something and you don't know what you accidentally click, just hit uh, cancel. Anyways, where it says run command near the bottom, just check that and hit OK. And you can even change your uh, numbers of recent programs to display, all that type of stuff, all in this uh, customized start menu. And I'm gonna go a little bit into this because this is a uh, important information too. Now, let's say you do, you have recent programs like right here that you've been to, you can set that to 9, I'm going to lower mine to around maybe 7 or put it to 8 and I'll just hit, uh, and it, I can change my default web browser, or I can change Windows Mail to Windows Live Mail and I'm just going to hit OK and that basically you can customize your start menu that way, just hit apply, and OK now look at my start menu, and I, or loads for a while and it opens and look at that guys, everything's uh, in there and you know you can lessen the programs if you want but I like to keep it around seven it's good enough for me because it just you know I don't need a whole bunch of bulkiness right there you have run right there so that's where the run command goes and that's how you customize your start menu in Vista this is just a quick tutorial hope it helped anyways guys enjoy